Paella is a worldwide known rice dish from Spain. It originated from Valencia. Today, paella is made in every region of Spain and beyond using just about any kind of ingredient that goes well with rice. There are many versions of paella as there are chefs. Three essential things to know before going there. First, the rice. Paella rice, like bomba rice from Spain, is a short grain rice with exceptional absorption properties. One cup of rice to three cups of stock. Speaking of which, you got to have a super flavorful house-made stock. And the third thing is the saffron, of course. That's part of the dish. It turns the rice into a wonderful golden, but you can also add some turmeric as well. Hey, I am Bruno Elbouz. You are watching The Real Deal Cooking Channel. As mentioned earlier, and since paella rice and stock are both crucial to succeed, there won't be any shortcut to make an excellent paella stock to begin with. Here I am using chicken backs, feet, necks, bones from the thigh and knuckles from the drumsticks and refrigerate. Let's peel and devein our shrimps. Starting with the head end, pull off the outer shell. For decorative purpose, you can leave the last segment of the shell and the tail tip on. Next, cut along the outer edge of the shrimp's back using a very sharp paring knife and go easy on the cut though and remove the vein and discard. Add shrimp shells to the stock and throw in onion piqué, garlic, leek, carrot, celery, thyme, black peppercorns, white wine and water. Bring the whole thing to a boil and let simmer for 4 hours. Don't stir up the stock though, just remove impurities that rise up to the surface of the stock as it cooks. After 4 hours, pass through a cheesecloth, let cool and refrigerate overnight. Then scrape out fat left on the surface. Look at this! Gorgeous paya stock is full of promises. Look at the collagen. I'm telling you, this is flavor right there. One hour before cooking your paya, bring the stock to a boil. Mix in saffron, cover, and set aside. Next, wash bell peppers. Cut into three or four pieces. Remove stem, membranes and seeds and cut into half inch squares. Just about. I know, there is a lot of prep to do, but it's worth it. Trust me. Next, you want to dice out one onion. And for the garlic, smash cloves first to remove the skin easily, then sprinkle with salt. It helps mash the garlic. Use your knife to flatten, mash and scrape the minced cloves into paste. You'll see in a few minutes how important garlic is in this dish. As you may have witnessed, I am a fan of lemon confit, so I'm gonna add some in my paella. It is optional though. Peel off Spanish chorizo and slice. Cut half of the slices into small dice. Next, you want to clean calamari squid in ice water, pat dry and slice them out. Clean mussels, remove the beard and scrub. Scrub the little neck clams as well. And by the way, to purge sand, Soak the clams and mussels in cold water with salt and corn meal for 45 minutes. And for the complete recipe and measurements, go to brunoskitchen.net. You got that right. Well, all the prep is done, so now I am going to turn on my barbecue. It's so hot right now. Well, this is San Diego, so I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful dish outside and see what happens. 
Heat up a large skillet or a paella pan over the charcoal. Drizzle some olive oil, add salt and sear chicken thighs and drumsticks on both sides to begin with. Remove the seared chicken and immediately cook the diced chorizo with garlic until fragrant. This is right there, a key element brought to the dish. Wow, it smells quite incredible. Throw in onions and bell peppers and cook for about 5 minutes. Then you want to transfer this mixture in a separate bowl. Now you want to saute your calamari squid with a drizzle of olive oil for a few minutes and remove from the pan. Bring the bell pepper mixture back into the hot pan. Add the rice now and cook for 3 minutes. Pour the hot saffron paella stock. Stir in some turmeric and cayenne to taste. Add the sliced chorizo and the chicken. Cover and cook for 10 minutes. During that cooking time, you are going to get the barbecue charcoal flavor. Keep in mind that a gas barbecue does not produce extra flavor. However, paella can obviously be cooked on a gas cooktop. Last round, add calamari, lemon confit, piquillo peppers, optional though, shrimps, clams and mussels. Tent with foil and lid and cook for 10 minutes more. Then garnish with blanched English peas and Lemon wedges. It is to die for. Well, I hope guys you have enjoyed this paella episode. So many of you guys have asked for this recipe. Now you can find it on BrunosKitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And bon appetit!